If you have a calculator that looks something like this, or something with an LCD display, and it's just sort of barely showing something up and it's ghosting, but nothing really is displaying properly. In fact, if you push down on it, you can see what was originally there briefly. Generally the issue with this is that there's just been a few pins on the back of the board that have just come up or aren't quite contacting properly with the main board. So the LCD display doesn't get the signals properly. Now this is an easy fix. All you'll need for this is a soldering iron, which I have over here, the calculator itself, and a screwdriver. You may not need a screwdriver, in my case I don't because it just opens up, but if you have screws on the back, you'll need this. <clears throat> anyway, so let's flip the calculator itself onto the back, and then you can simply open it up something like this. Actually, first I should probably turn it off. That would be a good idea. And then you'll kind of set it like this. So, of course, they're all going to look different, but here's the general idea, is that you'll have a couple of pins connected to the main board. They're very fine. And some of them, you may notice with this one already, are a bit raised, and they actually aren't even touching at all. So all I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to kind of reheat them, not directly touch them because that will melt directly through the plastic with the soldering iron, but I'm going to go over them and sort of hover and reheat these points, and hopefully they'll come back to life. So now I have my soldering iron set to about 400 degrees, and I'm just going to clean it off really quick here. Alright. And apply a bit more. And then what I want to do is I don't actually want to touch the pins that you're seeing here. Uh, it's like coming a little gray in the camera, but they're actually white and black. Uh, it's just that they're so fine that they make a gray. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to, you're going to actually need the screwdriver either way, because you're going to want to push them down with the screwdriver while going along with the soldering iron. So I'm just going to go along and hope that the heat will transfer to these pins. Now, it doesn't always work, and you may actually have to increase the heat a little bit. But for now, we're going to try and just hover over them and be very careful not to touch those pins themselves. As you can see, what I'm doing here now is I'm actually pressing the soldering iron up against the screwdriver head itself, and that gives just enough heat that it sort of doesn't melt through the plastic, but it still reapplies the layer. And I'm just going along something like this. I have it set at about 400 degrees Celsius, that is. So, as you can see, oh, the calculator is fully working now. All of this. Camera's not getting it too well, but, um, and all of those little points that I reheated by pressing the soldering iron up against uh, this screw head here at 400 degrees and just move, touching this over top while the soldering iron's heating the end. It's resealed all the pins right here. They're no longer sticking up at all. And all of the functions are working properly, including this one that didn't work originally. Anyways, hope you found this useful. Have a good one.